For winter hunters, you might find yourself in an environment like this. Bashing through snow, looking for whatever animal you are hunting, takes a toll on you physically due to the harsh environment. A side effect of cold weather is that it might change the way your ammo performs in your rifle. When you finally find your target, it is key to know how your equipment performs to maximize your hunt. To check this, we're using the indoor range at Varpson just outside of Stockholm to see what the effect of cold weather might be. Before we start, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Norma YouTube channel. Also, check out the other links to Norma's social media accounts, links in the description below. Let's get started. This test is based around temperature, as you might have guessed. In short, temperature affects the way your propellant burns. In hot temperatures, it burns faster, and in cold temperatures, it will burn slower. That means, in our hypothesis, midwinter in minus 5 degrees, there might be propellant still left to burn as the bullet leaves the barrel. That results in a slower muzzle velocity and a change in the point of impact. And that's why we're here today, to test this hypothesis at 100 meters using 30 odd 6. We're going to do this test in two ways. One is to shoot at a target with three shots at each temperature, and then also check the muzzle velocity to see what the real output is. Overnight, we've kept one set of ammo in room temperature, one box outside at around minus two, and one box in the freezer at minus 18 degrees. We're hoping this will give us a usable sample at varying temperatures. Now, before you reach to the keyboard and point out the obvious, we do not know how accurate this test is. We don't know the exact temperature of the ammunition, but that's besides the point. We just want to see if there is any change if the ammunition is colder than room temperature and how this change affects precision. For this test, we will use the normal Jagdmatch ammo, which is commonly used by Capricalia hunters in Scandinavia. We will use the new style monoblock with a 55 cm or 22 inch barrel in 30 odd 6. What calibers would you like to see in a test like this? Let us know in the comments below. With an average of 800 meters per second or 2,600 feet per second from a 55 centimeter barrel, the baseline for the test is established. Immediately when we started testing the cold ammo, we saw different results. The point of impact dropped down to the right and the muzzle velocity also took a hit. Testing with the coldest ammo further verified our hypothesis. An additional drop and a drift to the right along with reduced velocity made the outcome clear. Now, bear in mind that we did the tests three times due to the big change in result and the outcome was similar each time. Also, as the chamber heated up as we did the test, we cannot verify the exact temperature. Regardless of this, the shift was significant and enough to keep in mind when you hunt. So what does this test actually tell us? For many winter hunters, it's common to keep your ammunition in the chest pocket when you go out hunting to try and keep the ammunition warm. And my advice would be, keep doing this. It is not an old wives' tale. The difference is substantial and it will impact how your gear performs out in the field. Furthermore, to actually verify this, we did the test three times with the colder ammunition and as you can see, the bullet both drops and also the impact point changes in all different directions. So you do not know where your bullet will hit once you start shooting with cold ammunition. As ever, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the Norma channel here on YouTube. Was this test what you expected it to be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, skitjakt! Thank you.